Your TV doesn't love you, but I do, I do. Your TV doesn't love you, but I do, I do. UHF and VHF, it doesn't breathe, it doesn't have breath, but I do, I do, and I love you. You know, my best friend Lucas is a science fiction writer, and he'll actually pay you. I mean, he'll trade you things for your nightmares. Uh, the thing about Lucas, though, he's got a sixth sense. You know, he can tell when you're making stuff up. You know, I go in there and I go, Hey, Lucas, man, I had the most, uh, most ridiculous of uh, far-fetched dreams ever, dude. He's like, what is it? I'm like, dude... I was walking along, and I look in a mirror, and there's like 10 red cats just coming out of my nose. He's like, how big were they? I'm like, well, regular size. How were they coming out? Are your face stretching? I, 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 you know, it catches me in the lie like that. But, you know, other times he'll just give you. If he, if, if, if he can tell you're giving him a real dream, he'll always just give you something, you know? Like, even if it's just one time I, one time I swing the door open there, he's munching on a tombstone pizza. I'm like, Lucas. I'm just going to give it to you straight. I had a dream about a beer bottle that refilled itself. Every time you took a sip, you set it down, it refilled itself. Is that worth anything? Just hands me a piece of pizza. I took a bite, and I split. Uh, you know, we come to him with something better. Like one time I had a dream that this rich man invited me into his velvet swath parlor. And he's got this giant device. And inside of it, it just swirl on all these interesting creatures. And I say, they go, what are these things? And he says... These come from the ocean floor for Sunday brunch. Say Sunday brunch. Next thing I know, it's got a tube in his mouth. Flipping a switch. <laughs> Lucas says, that's one. Now that's a story. And he gives me a little pocket radio, which I actually quite needed at the time because mine was busted. And I love the sound of radio static. So anyhow, Lucas is down there, man. He's a good guy. He's, he, he's, he's, a, he's a brevity as a solo wit type of writer. So he's always cutting out all these descriptions of monsters. But if you just go, Lucas, come on, tell me about some of those monsters. Tell me about the monster you cut out of your story today. He'll procure the slivers of paper out of his pocket. And as he talks, as he fills in all the strange little details, this creature just comes to life. Next thing you know, you're saying, uh, bartender, one more. You're one, two drinks deep and you're scared and you got to drink two more till you're brave again. Because that night when you're trying to fall asleep, that creature will be over there in the corner, man. Lucas is a good writer. That's his power. But... Uh, he does what he does, and I, he seems to enjoy it.